Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Drake Awards. My name is Dr. Sophia Sheikh. Uh, I am an NSF Ascend postdoctoral fellow working at the SETI Institute on the Allen Telescope Array at the Hat Creek Radio Observatory. So I'm a radio astronomer, primarily working on SETI and radio techno signature searches, but also everything else uh, in radio astronomy. So fast radio bursts, pulsars, tracking down radio frequency interference, all sorts of fun things at the Allen Telescope Array. I think the Drake Awards are such a unique opportunity within the field of astrobiology and especially within SETI as one of the few ways that we have to really award people whose entire careers, either at their start or kind of as they've progressed, have really changed the way that we think about life in the universe and a way to recognize all of these amazing achievements that sometimes go unnoticed even with people just, you know, toiling and spending all of this time uh, working towards this amazing goal. So it's wonderful to take the time to actually recognize that. In my work uh, at the ATA, I've been recently doing a lot of uh, work on fast radio bursts. So trying to understand where these super bright pulses of radio energy come from and what could be causing them. Probably some sort of compact object like magnetars, but that's the, the sort of work that we're uh, doing at the ATA to understand the progenitors of these sorts of events. I've also been doing, of course, a lot of SETI. So we're hoping to start a project sometime probably in the next couple months where we survey the anti-solar point. So this is looking at stars which, from their perspective, can see the Earth transit the sun once a year and observing them at that kind of special alignment time when our, the source, our star, the sun, and the Earth are all aligned. Uh, because it might be a better than average time to search for coordinated signals from extraterrestrial intelligences. I think if you talk to anyone in the field of SETI, they'll tell you that this is the most exciting time that the field has ever had. Um, we have the capability now with kind of new and upcoming instruments like the Allen Telescope Array and all of these other facilities coming up around the world to really be surveying much more of the sky at many more frequencies simultaneously, uh, looking at many more targets, and just doing much more SETI, covering much more of the sky than we could ever do before. That's kind of the most exciting thing for me, is just seeing how many instruments, how many people are getting involved in the search so that we can actually start making a dent in the cosmic haystack and start to be able to say things more quantitatively and concretely about the distribution of technological life in the galaxy.